Hey there folks, today we're looking at the newest, greatest Storm Collectibles figure. This time it's Shao Kahn. He was shown first a long time ago, like about two years. He's been finally released over the last month or so. Um, I get him just now. Uh, I'm super hyped to have him. Uh, ugh, he's just a big Conan slash Heman villain. Pretty much with how he looks. He comes straight from Mortal Kombat 2. He's got his big ass hammer. He's got his big ass throne. I don't know how, how they were able to fit this throne, throne into the project money they had on him. But it's great. He, he looks magnificent. I can't wait to show him to you. But first, let's look at, at his big ass box. So, yeah, that's his huge, stupidly huge packaging. It's in the typical Storm Collectible style with the graphic, with the figure. He's sitting on his freaking throne. I still can't believe they've uh, put it in the box. Mm. Here's some bit of his face. Here's the second half. Uh, here are some pics with his accessories. Read up in English, so I suppose they only, uh, they only do Japanese for the Japanese inspired figures. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, like I said, he looks not only like a Mortal Kombat character, he also looks like a human reject. But still, I wouldn't call this design good by any means. It's horrible, it's uh, a naked guy with some armor on. But it looks good as a figure. It's very faithful to the game, uh, at the same time giving him the more Street Fighter V physique, so the video game physique was a very nice move by Storm. They are trying to have uh, all of their lines in this same uh, video gamey style, so huge muscles, huge guys, huge women, and I really dig it, There is uh, all of their lines should be compatible when, with each other, mm. and this guy is no different. Uh, I'm pretty sure that more uh, Mortal Kombat figures are up after him will be as well in this style, not the more realistic uh, as the first ninjas. Uh, but yeah, speaking of the figure, he looks really really good, is a very faithful ad adaptation of the game uh, look of the real actor. Helmet is removable, I will give you that uh, already. Ta-da! He's got the strange finger, the fingers on his forehead, the elf ears. He comes with two heads. This one, the calm one and the uh, angry one. Both are very nice, uh, very good look, look just like Shao Kahn. Uh, this angry one has some problems staying on. I'm not sure, maybe the peg is too small or uh, sorry, too short or something, or the peg hole in this head is misshapen. Uh, the helmet can be put on either head, mm, it's, as you can see, very uh, soft plastic, only the, the this crown is uh, harder, and as you can see this or this one, this one or this one, the, the, one, of, one of these two is uh, misshapen, it was misshapen in the box, I think this it's this one, I will try to heat it up, maybe it, it will help something somewhat uh, it's not hard to keep the head of, uh, keep the helmet on his head i've seen people uh, saying that they, it's hard for them to line up the eye holes with with his eyes i wouldn't say it's hard it needs a bit of work but if you do it correctly uh, it's it stays in place so that's cool otherwise i think it's uh, it shouldn't matter when looking from afar or you could just glue it on to one of the heads. But yeah, I agree, he would look much better if he had one head with the helmet on all the time. It's always cool to have him on the throne with uh, the helmet off by his side, that would be really, really cool. Um, other than the helmet, all of his armor pieces are removable, so shoulder pads, uh, straps, gauntlet, belt with the sash thing, knee pads, uh, 
uh, those here are removable. I also like the socks and sandals he ha he's rocking. Very, very dad of him. Um, as far as other accessories go, he comes with eight, eight hands, so four pairs of hands in total, or maybe ten. Let let's count. Two fists, two post hands like this, two of these, so that's three. Two of um, hammer holding hands, that's four. So, yep, he comes with five pairs because he also comes with these two pointing hands for his taunts from the game. Yeah, that's how it goes. Uh, he can say some of the lines from the game. Let's have this on. Uh, there is a slight problem with having the shoulder pads hit on the helmet and then uh, it, it will fall out. But it still looks good, if you line everything up, if you pose him well, that's gonna look really, really cool. But his most important hand is this one, for holding a hammer, and the hammer is glorious. As you can see, it's uh, very long, very like, just like in the game. Uh, he's got the Mortal Kombat symbols, it's got a lot of blood on it as well. Mm, it's so long that he can hold it, hold it in both hands in some poses so that's really badass um what else speaking of this let's go through his articulation so the head has the typical uh asian two joints in the head in the neck upper side and lower side of the neck like this this really nice arms go this way that much hey oh uh, hey also as you can see this is removable Bicep swivel, elbow bend, uh, hands go left, right, up, down, etc. Bends in the abs and waist. Rotate very nicely. Belt is loose, so it doesn't impede anything. Legs, double knees, and yeah, nothing can in the sock, but in the foot standard articulation plus bendy toes so that's good that's really really good um only thing uh accessories wise i would like as well to have is his uh, strange star shaped fireball that would be a, a lot to ask for it as well because of this big ass throne he comes with uh, it's still hard for me to understand how they fit it this into their budget but that's great um, it's made out of I, I'd say rubber or a very very soft plastic it's reminiscent of dog toys doggy tube toys <laughs> it, it even has the air hole uh, it's a rotocast throne that looks great Mortal Kombat symbol a bit of paint cool two skulls it will fit every figure you have um, that should fit on a throne, I would say. You can sit on, on, on it in any positions you'd like. Some classics, or maybe one leg here, or whatever. Or <laughs> lie down. Um, you could just have this helmet here and shotgun coming for it. Yeah, something like this. Uh, that's a great, great, great accessory. And it doesn't cost, uh, I don't know, $100 or whatever, or how, whatever much. Uh, it's a great, great accessory and doesn't cost uh, an obscene amount of money, like the recent, re recently released by NECA uh, Predator Throne. First, let's um, learn how tall he is. He's almost exactly 20 centimeters, maybe with some millimeters mm, so that's huge compared to different storm figures Heihachi and Akuma from the two other storm collectibles lines so Street Fighter Mortal Kombat and Tekken you can have all of these series uh, characters duking it out on your shelf that's dream come true I've always wanted to ha have toys from these lines in one scale now I can ah that's great 
more Street Fighter since I don't have any Mortal Kombat Storm figures uh, besides him. My custom Street Fighter first strike Alex, Chumli, again, uh, very, very nice size differences. Alex is even bigger than Shang Kahn. Other than that, let's go with uh, M. Bison and Masters of the Universe Classics, Chief Carnivus. I think that's how he's called. Uh, so, since I, I talked about He-Man, this line, uh, this is the line of the He-Man toys by Mattel. And that's that for today, guys. Please let me know what do you think about Shao Kahn. Uh, in my opinion, he is magnificent. It's one of the best Storm Collectibles figures. Actually, I'm not sure at this time if I prefer him over Heihachi, because Heihachi is really, really cool. Uh, but uh, 2018 is shaping up to be a great year for Storm. <laughs> and all of their figures will be up for my figure of the year award. So yeah, please let me know in the comments below what you think. Leave a like, a thumb thumbs up and see you guys later.